Good morning, everyone. So yesterday I posted a video about the Viltrox 85 millimeter f1.8. Um, the only pictures I had taken, <clears throat> and it was only a couple, uh, I took of my dog Corbin, and uh, unfortunately he was out of focus. The focus locked onto the arm of the chair, uh, where slightly in front of him and going through my camera settings I now know why uh, a couple of things I had my f-stop set to f4.0 uh, but I was relatively close to him so that made the depth of field field uh, too shallow and then um, the focus mode I had set was more of a general focus so um, anyway, made some adjustments to the camera, um, and then took a few more pictures, uh, yesterday afternoon, and, uh, the results are nicely in focus, sharp, clear. So the Viltrox, uh, 85 millimeter f1.8 lens is actually really good. I will flip it over here so you can see, um, the only thing I've done to this picture uh, is a crop so far so here's the picture um, and if I zoom in uh, as you can see here uh, he's nicely in focus we're getting the lashes um, you know his nose is in focus and you know, up to his ears is basically in focus. This is a nice result. Um, let's uh, correct our levels here a little bit. So, anyway, um, that's it. Uh, as you can tell from this exposure, the Viltrox 85mm takes a nice sharp picture um, and gives good results. Um, still not a fan of the uh, electronic uh, aperture control, but anyway. Uh, at this point I'll say that's the my, my only, and it's nitpicking issue, um, but it might be an issue depending on the type of camera you have, whether or not the camera can control the uh, aperture. But uh, as far as the optics itself, as you can see in this example, uh, they're just fine. So thank you and have a great day.